So there is typically a cost involved in a transaction. So if I'm giving money, if I'm giving $1 to a friend, there's typically no cost when I give that dollar over. There could be a cost if I have to pay her and I lost that money before I gave her that dollar. That would be bad. So what ends up happening is that when you have other payment types, they account for that cost of potentially losing the money or the speed of the money's going over. And so in that dollar transaction, they may take three cents or five cents from that dollar because of the convenience and because of the guarantees they provide for that dollar to go over to your friend. And those are the types of things that people don't typically see, but that we have to think about when there's a lot of money going back and forth, millions and billions of dollars going through, because we wanna make sure that there's a guarantee when those funds are going from one person to another. So one of the things about payments that would be really great for girls to also know is that in that transaction cost, um, when you have a credit card, sometimes there is a cost associated with kind of your monthly bill. And when you pay a minimum payment on a monthly credit card bill, that's not used to pay your main bill. It's used as a charge for the monies that you've borrowed on that credit card. And so understanding that there are costs associated will help you organize your financial life from a personal perspective in addition to helping you in your career.